But the best defense is having the ball down and your offense. So North Allegheny wins that first. And an early strike out of the pocket of number 12, Nicholas Sechek, to get the scoring started for the Tigers. And that's the exact start you want if you're John Rulin and the North Allegheny Tigers. You win the opening faceoff dominantly. You did on the shady side shooters. Started to get into their head and um, had, had uh, you know, a positive impact for North Allegheny. One of the key players in that win. Lamarck sneaks it through, and all of a sudden the Tigers in front to nothing. This is an ideal start for the Tigers. Now what you want to happen is to keep winning these faceoffs, keep putting that pressure on them. And this is a much needed possession by the Mount Lebanon offense. Give their defense a break. Hetz whips one, and then it somehow snuck home. What a snag by Miles Halter. Picked that ball, and that, that ball was moving on a shot from Joey Hetz. It's north of 80 miles per hour. Miles Halter with the hand-eye coordination to not only snag it, but Estabrook finds a lane, fires, and it goes through. Slips it past Lyle, and we're square at two. Yeah, nothing complicated about that one. A righty hitch down the alley, and Jack Estabrook, no. DNA starting to grip their sticks a little bit tight, make some uh, easy errors. What a save by Logan Lyle. Yeah, nice. Doing everything to keep their first lead of this championship ball game. Trying to protect their defending champion status as Holter with a couple zigzags goes top shelf. And for the first time tonight, the Blue Devils with the lead. What a move by Miles Halter. Absolutely hangs his man up on the back of the net. And a silky smooth finish with the right. It's April 22nd. They lost to Kiski School. As that one fires home out of the stick of Sully Kish, and it's 4-2 Mount Lebo. Sully Kish with a, a really nice release, but it was the pass by Halter cutting across the defense. That's what's going to make it hard for Lyle to track that ball. Haven't been able to do. There's Jonathan Castillo looking for a lane, barrels his way through. So we wind down to the final minute of the first quarter and a 4-2 Mount Lebo lead. They'll take the shorty behind here, a good strategy. Probably something Coach Rulon talked to them about in the timeout. Double coming. Castillo somehow swims around, flags come flying in. And either way, the Tigers slicing into the deficit, it's 4-3. What a move by Castillo. Ref's talking it over here, good goal. And a beautiful job of drawing that double team by Jack Ridenauer here with you. Winner of this one will be capturing their third ever WPIAL championship, and we'll see which team that is. As Seachek, just a few seconds into this one, flexing his muscle and tying things up at four. An absolute rocket from about 12 yards out. You can see the penalty released almost instantaneously upon the quarter. Here's Evan Lyon, speaking of Family of lacrosse players, Evan Lyon has a sister that plays across at Mercyhurst. As he cranks one, but bounces away. Stays with the Tigers, and for you at home that are unfamiliar. Um, who will be competing for a national championship. Off the stick of Lyle, what a save by the junior keeper as Miles Halter with a missile. And stays with North Allegheny as we wind down to six minutes in the second quarter. All tied at four, winner of this one, crown champion of the WPIAL. You know, I don't get the sense, though, that the Mount Lebanon shooters are being affected by Lyle. See, check. Oh, and, and it's turned away. What a save by Lockwich. We're starting to turn into a goalie. And you see North Allegheny in that backer zone. What a strike and find, and Fred Lasota. Puts it through to give Mount Lebanon the lead right back at 5-4. This is a high-level goal here. High-level feed, high-level finish. NA is thrown into the semifinals every year. Um, North Allegheny tested every step of the way. Tough quarterfinal matchup with the section rival Pine Richland. It was a three-goal win. 
and then the, the three goal win against Shadyside. Now their toughest contest yet. Holter somehow squeezes through the tight window and it's 6-4 Mount Lebanon. Miles Halter is an absolute magician. The way that he is sneaking this ball in a low angle, I mean. They're hoping they don't have an L. Very loquacious of you. Thank you. I will put that down as my soliloquy, if that would be the right thing. As long as we don't get into haikus, I think I'm all right. Backdoor feed and fire. What a strike from goal line extended for Colt Gibson, the sophomore getting active, and it's 6-5. And North Allegheny, uh, you know, they have some passers on their team as well. A very nice backer zone that Mount Lebanon's going to have to adjust to. They're going to have to read the backer zone. Low catch for Halter, but somehow he rifles it through, and it grows the lead to 7-5 for Mount Lebanon. Miles Halter having himself a half. Uh, what a shot there. I mean, he got that thing off really quick, and... It, 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 there's nothing that you can active, especially since Evan Lyon, the RIT commit, he's now basically being face guarded. Score for North Allegheny as Sam Porter breaks open the scoring in the second half, and it's 7 6. For North Allegheny, I mean, they lost an All American player in Marco Pascarella from last year as that shot off the mark and smothered by Locke, which. Porter looking for his second goal of the second half. But North Allegheny unsuccessful on the clear, so one step forward and two steps back. Yeah, the aforementioned ride. And another save by Lyle. He has been Logan on the spot all afternoon and evening as Hetz can't stick that one through either. You, you can see he's starting to get frustrated with his defense, though. No matter how good of a goal you are, you just can't let up shots like that. Finally, it cracks through for Lasota. Goes top shelf, and it's 8-6 Mount Lebanon. Lasota, really nice take here. Continues to come upfield, continues to improve his angle. Ball. Again, if you're Mount Lebanon, North Allegheny's strategy is just to stay in this thing. So they don't want to get let you get too far out of there. They just want to reel it in here, get make it a one goal game, keep hanging around. Um, go, oh, great, great play by. So the penalty coming against North Allegheny gives Mount Lebanon a man up situation. Hets with daylight, and he sticks it through. What a strike by the junior to grow the lead to the biggest it's been tonight. Nine six Mount Lebanon. Too much gas. Joey Hetz can absolutely rip it. We've been talking about it. We've been waiting for it. Nearing four and a half minutes to play. Halter breaks free. And once again, another Miles Halter missile to make it 10-6 Mount Lebanon. Miles Halter simply divine and unstoppable tonight. He gets underneath, he gets up top. Which he seems to have figured Seachak out. Seachak on take two. No dice, but it stays with the Tigers again. Some tough North Allegheny shooters. Hockwich throws it away, and now North Allegheny another crack at it. Still in the man up in this penalty. Lyon, lasers, and scores! Really nice move by Lyon, the RIT commit. Takes Joey Hetz, who we talk about his offensive abilities, but he's a good defender as well. Here comes Lasota, flag comes flying in. Lasota gives it off, and it's off the mark as Halter is annihilated and flags continue. But you still got Hetz who has um, we have penalties against both teams. A man Allegheny, up goal 20, tonight. Evan Lyon, and number 13, Colt Gibson. Lebanon, number Hetz 17, fires Colt away, and the strike is scored by Sully Kish. Finds the back of the net, and it's 11 7, Mount Lebanon. Sully, uh, consistent person that has, has been able to get his shot off for this North Allegheny. Lyon with an ankle breaker and a score! 
My oh my! Leaves the Blue Devils in the dust and it's 11 set, 11 8. And just as I say that, the RIT commit, Evan Lyon, shows up in by playing too conservatively. And a diving goal put through by Mount Lebanon. This time it's Luke Prezioso who gets active and makes it 12-8, Mount Lebanon. And that's a killer. Like we talked about, what's it gonna take for North Allegheny? They gotta keep a clean sheet, maybe let up one goal. Well, there's your one goal. Starts with this ground ball, which comes up. Quickly coughed up and at the doorstep, oh. it's stuck through. Seat check right on cue. Just a right place, right time, and it's 12-9. What did I say earlier? This North Allegheny team, it kind of feels like the ball just bounces right into their way, and they get lucky, and that's a perfect example of it. Mount Lebanon had won that, that face-off. If you're Mount Lebanon, you're okay with North Allegheny taking some time off of the clock here. Lion fires and puts it home! What an absolute missile from number 20 in black, and it's 12-10. Here come the Tigers, and we look at the clock, a two-goal game win. Here's Lyon trying to stay hot. Drives, fires. What a save. Locked down by Lockwich. Loose ball, bodies go flying, and somehow Lockwich, the one to vacuum it up. Strike and a score. Mount Lebanon countering blow for blow. It's Keegan Green that finds the twine. It's 13-10. Really nice shot by Green. He does a good job of getting dead center of the net, having the whole net to look at. That's so important. Right at the doorstep, it snuck through. What a score out of the pocket of Jack Estabrook. Said his name in the first half, we'll say it again. And it's 14-10, Mount Lebanon. Mount Lebanon, a different story than when the North Allegheny Tigers came back against Shadyside. Mount North Allegheny running down the field with the ball in their sticks. What a finish for Mount Lebanon. Who else? Miles Halter. And he puts the cap on what has been an incredible individual performance. His sixth goal to go along with. Final 13 seconds for the Tigers. As Seachak with a last try. Seven seconds, Mount Lebanon ball. And the Blue Devils doing it again. Saying let's go on take two as Mount Lebanon go back to back and capture the 2024 Class 3A WPIAL Boys Lacrosse Championship. Mount Lebanon from the, from the starting whistle when they went down two to North Allegheny, they didn't flinch, they kept their composure. You can see the staff celebrating. Congratulations to the entire Mount Lebanon Lacrosse program and community. And it really was 